So I was talking about the three different scenarios of running a two-tiered environment, the migration from ECC to S4, the shared service model among the group of companies with a two-tiered, and then there's the running an ERP instance dedicated to all the stakeholders. But what is the value that customers can see with a two-tiered environment, with two-tiered ERP? Very simple, instant value. I mean, that's that's something that you really have seen by default, right? It's about accelerated value because you're going to go live faster. You're going to see incremental uh, innovations coming into you for consumption without impacting your on-premise environment. If at all, we go in a hybrid world. Yeah, and your chat services model is super efficient here. Yeah, so you can whatever is really uh, your cost conscious model where I want to ensure that I, my procurement functions are running the right way. I have the right set of uh, maybe the contracts executed with my suppliers or with my uh, various other uh, sales contracts executed. I'm able to get economics of scale going, right? I'm able to centralize it in one function. So I, I do have cost by default given to you as, as, as the advantage of cost given to you. And, that's, and hence that's coming back to you from a lower TCO perspective, right? Because I know that wherever procurements, they can operate in different uh, functions and different uh, environments are centralized. So you do save a lot on cost. And of course, the best part about it is as and when we upgrade it on a regular basis, we ensure that this is reliable for your business process without impacting your business process. And this is something that is super see, uh, value that we, that the customers have seen. Um, I, was, I was talking to another customer the other day where the customer said that, you know what, the best part about uh, the hybrid cloud deployment for me is I can innovate at a pace or move the workload at a pace which I choose, right? For example, if I feel that I need to get started with a subsidiary function, I can go there, I can see the value, I can, I can really try it out. Get, gain some experiences to say that how does this s cloud work from a standard cloud and then maybe convince my on-premise customers right or my on-premise uh, headquarter companies to say that you know what this is how subsidiaries are running efficiently now let's also put a plan in place to move our other workloads all also to cloud yeah so that's been our fundamental advantage if we put a look at it